This will be my first attempt at Gabe White's very difficult standards, guys, as you see here, seven yards, uh, minus penalty, anything outside the A zone, 0.25 seconds. Uh, you add on a 0.25 seconds for doing it from concealment, which I did. Bill drill, not used to doing it. Failure drills, used to doing it. Um, as you see the times there, you would add on the 0.25 though, so 3.75. Uh, immediate incapacitation drill would be 3.25 for two headshots. And a split bill drill, which I've never done before, four to the body, two to the head, and 4.95 from concealment. So when watching this, please realize I was way harder on myself than I actually should have been. If you look here at the targets, the body box would be in red line on USPSA target or where the red lines in the body are, six and a half by uh, 11, I think. So uh, I measured it out and I went over the shots and I did time every single segment out. And anyway, I did a lot better than I thought I was doing, especially the first time ever uh, doing these drills trying to meet the standards, especially since I wasn't using a full-size heavy uh, 9mm Glock 34 or whatever, but a Micro 9 and a subcompact 40. As you see, I did really rather well. I passed 7 out of the 8 as you go through it, actually 7 of the 8 of the attempts, and you only need 4 to get the pin, your best 4 no matter on what of the runs, your best 4. I got 7 out of 8 with the 9mm, I got 4 out of 8 with two being very close with the 40 subcompact, uh, two be being very close over part time, uh, the last runs of the split bill drills, but all six A's both times when you watch it, and only one out of eight with the 45, and that has more to do with ergonomics than caliber, I believe. But try and figure out where the shots were as you go through watching. Imagine the USPSA body box A zone being that wide where the red lines were on these targets. And you'll be able to get a better feel for how I was really doing. Now it's a 40. Unfortunately, I'll have to replay to get the times. I think I'm in uh, pretty easy on everything except the bill drills. I think I'll make the times. Yeah, it felt good. It felt probably 2.8 to 3 seconds. One, two, here now. Failure drills in Mozambique. That's something I'm comfortable with. Bill drills, it's not. Split bill drills, I've never died. Um, is that good enough for a bad guy? Defensive gun is probably, but, you know, really, I do want to hold myself. That first shot at least should be there. If the second one's there or there, hey, uh, headshot was good. All right, failure drill, second attempt with the 40. Through the second shot. Uh, that felt really fast. Now they might be in. Finally, the guy's watching left. That added some stress, some little stretch relief. And now I'm doing what I need to do. One on the spine, one there. Two perfect A boxes. Perfect headshot right in the T box and not even a little high. Well, perfectly centered in the circle. Uh, so I think that was probably about a 2.8, 2.85 run with perfect hits, easily under the 3.15 par. That's more like it. I'll Immediate incapacitation drill, first attempt with the 40. Draw was a little slow. Hits are good, barely. Um, draw was a little slow. Need to watch it back. I think I still made it. I, th I, th I still think I made the par time. My hand was just not a master grip. I was a little bit below the beaver tail, and I felt the space there. So that second shot was a little difficult to make, but I made it. All right, first attempt with the 40 was in. Let's see if I can do a little bit faster. The second attempt out. Boom, in. One's a little high. I've been aiming a little high. That's a lot of tape up high, but boom, in. 
I'm pretty sure line breaks count, so second both attempts with a 40 are in. So Gabe White standards, first attempts ever. This is the third attempt ever I've done on the split bill drill. I did it twice with the nine millimeter. Now, first time ever with the 40. So third time ever split bill drill. Uh, first time with a 40. And who I should slow down. There we go. Let's see, I might have done it. Hell yeah, I'm happy with that with my new carry gun. Hell yeah, I am. So I just sucked total balls pill drill the first times with uh, today at all doing bill drills because I don't do bill drills. I practice fast five at five yards and seven yards, uh, but I don't do bill drills of six shots. But I got all four A zone. In fact, all four are hitting the spine and two head shots. I think that was well under the 4.95 concealment time. Uh, I'd have to lay it back, but I think I might have spoken too soon. That was really close in time. I think I made it under the 4.95, like 4.9, but it might have been five seconds because I had gotten that one like second cadence almost, I think, in those shots. So I need a cleaner, a bit cleaner draw. Let me tuck in my three undershirts. I'm, this is my fourth layer. And a slightly cleaner draw will get me there and slightly faster hits if I can keep at least most of them. I use them only drop one D. Let's see if I can just push it a bit because I think I already made it. Let me push it just a little bit. Let's stay. Recoil control. Recoil control. Ooh, I don't know. It seems a little jumpy. No, maybe they're on there. Oh, I hope so. Cause Please let that be under 4.95 seconds. One, two, three, four. I got four. That's actually nicking the spine. That's nicking the spine. Four on the spine. One, two, good headshots. Uh, um, so that is probably slower, to be honest, than I would fire in a real defensive gun use at seven. I would go at that cadence at 12 yards in a real situation. At seven yards, I'm going to be hammering the trigger a little bit faster than that. So I'm sure two would be A's and two would probably be B's. And hopefully I am pretty good at making my headshots, uh, to be honest. But um, that's a little spicy, but the bill drill is what killed it. Let's see if I can do it with a 45. Hey guys, if you stayed with me this long to wrap up the 9 verse 40 verse 45 and Gabe White drills, what do I got to say about it? Well, they're, they're pretty hard. Two of them are more than doable to the dark level, immediate incapacitation, and the split bill draw if you practice it. Failure draw, I should have had down, but being cold, I didn't do as good as I should have. I'm usually better at failure drills. Uh, the biggest one, most difficult one, time-wise, to make good A-zone hits is the bill drill. Because a lot of people do that, and that's not something I do. I practice fast five and five and seven. I think firing five instead of six when you got a plan on multiple attackers and the total capacity of your pit, probable pistols, 13 plus one, 13 plus one, nine rounds, eight plus one. You know, if you're not carrying an 18, 20 round, 22 round super blaster, you got to think about ammo capacity too, and always plan on at least three attackers, sometimes even four or five. Uh, so the drills are difficult. My hits, uh, the second target I used at, at, towards the end, pretty good, except that last round with a 45. Almost all the bad hits, non immediate fight stopping hits, the really bad shots you see here, 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 I mean, those are still spine hits. Hitting low and the, the low and left ones were with the 45. Again, those pistols hit low. It's more ergonomic thing. And I was using 185 ball, which made it hit even lower, I believe. So overall, guys, if you've never done Gabe White's challenge, I did it today in the cold. I'm tired. I shot 34 rounds of each, 9 millimeter, 40 and 45. So 102 rounds downrange today.
that 45 sure expensive so hopefully you enjoyed my video thumbs up share subscribe uh it's definitely something worth doing and definitely something worth doing with your carry gun uh hardest is the build drill i shouldn't have started with it because it made me look completely crappy uh if you're gonna make your own video maybe you want to film the build drill last uh but maybe you want to do it with carry guns to actually see what you can do instead of like glock 34s if instead of full size really big heavier pistols what can you do in your carry gun the shield plus overall everything i've ever filmed with it it's pretty capable. I question its ballistics from a 3.1 inch barrel, and I'm using the bestest, bestest hollow points from short bar barrels, a 124 plus PHST. Uh, good summer carry, but I think I'm happy with my decision. They're unloaded. My decision of the M2.0 3.640. I'm happy with 40. I like 13 plus 140 tissue crush. Weight, uh, weight well in the energy and the bigger diameter, the bigger hole going through the body a lot better than 9 millimeter. And they basically, these two shot on part. Now, this is 10 ounces heavier to carry maybe i revert back to this in the summer but overall i think that i made a good choice here and this kind of gets get you know get eliminated do, can other 45s do better if i had a 1911 lightweight commander or maybe hk 45c i think i would have shot way better today but here was a smith and wesson battle nine verse 40 verse 45 which one do you want to carry and uh let me know what you think in the comments down below thank you everybody